I haven't put sleeves on something in a long time, you guys. I was literally cutting it out, cutting out the pattern. I was like, oh, a sleeve. Hey, you guys, the doc is Hope here and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are doing well and having a great week so far. So I am so, so, so excited about sharing with you guys my sewing plans for the week. I have gone over this uh, pattern before as well as the fabric and it is finally time. I'm so excited. Before we get into it, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that so we can continue to hang out together and you guys can continue to catch these fun videos. Well, without further ado, let's get into the sewing plan. Um, this pattern um is a summer pattern that i'm going to sew even though we're slowly headed into fall i don't know if this will be my last uh, make of summer i haven't quite decided yet but i am going to make this people wear shorts in fall right <laughs> um so if you don't already know this is mccall's 8203 which is this cute jumpsuit i will be making the romper so this is definitely summer wear or spring um, so i'll be making the romper a with the bodice from view c which in all actuality once i went to cut the pattern out i found that um it's actually the same bodice for view a and c the only difference is that there's an actual piece that's a ruffle neckline that you cut out to make this bodice A the way that it is. Other than that, they're exactly the same. So that was great because I was thinking like, you know, I got to make sure I cut out the right bodice pieces, but it was not that difficult. So I was very glad that that was the, that way. So as you all know, I found the fabric for this at Joanne, um, the last bolt of this fabric, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Changed my sewing plans to make the romper. Initially, I was gonna make this, but they didn't have enough for that. So I was like, you know what? It's okay, I'll make this another time, but right now I'm gonna make this. So let me remind you guys of my fabric. I don't have a whole lot of it left, just, you know, a little bit. I feel like I'm going to make maybe some pockets or something cute with that at some point. It's just so cute. I can't throw it away. So as a reminder, this is my denim fabric that I found at Joanne. It's a very thin, lightweight denim um, with these beautiful colors, uh, corals and blues and whites and greens and there's really a whole lot more going on um, this piece doesn't really do it justice but i am so excited about making this with this beautiful fabric as you all know so let me show you what i've got going on so far um i ended up uh needing two and one eighths yards of the fabric and i had just a little bit left over so I was happy with that. And I also had just enough left over that I decided to make the sash from view B. Y'all know I love a sash or a good belt. So this sash right here that they have for view B, I had just enough where I'm going to make that sash and put it on this romper. So I can't wait. All right, y'all. So let me show you what I've got. Um... I feel like I always show you guys out of order. So let me try to start from the beginning here. I tell you what, after you've sewn a lot of knits, once you go to cut out um, a woven fabric, it is, it's therapeutic almost because there is no stretching. The fabric isn't moving, it just stays put. And I, I really enjoy that this time around. So this denim, I feel like it's gonna be a dream to work with and I'm so, so excited. So I've got my piece three here, which is a bodice front. Um, this pattern did have like cup sizes. 
so you will cut uh, your pattern piece based on your cup size. So this is going to be the bodice front. This is piece six, which is the bodice side front. You can see that's cut out. We have piece seven, which is the bodice back here. 12 is going to be the back facing. 11 is going to be the front facing. 14 is going to be my sleeve band. 13 is going to be my actual sleeves. I haven't put sleeves on something in a long time, you guys. I was literally cutting it out, cutting out the pattern. I was like, oh, a sleeve. I haven't done sleeves in a long time. Honestly, I don't think I've done a real like cap sleeve since winter, like fall winter sewing because everything has either been uh, shoulder off the shoulder type of sleeves or sleeveless. I mean, I haven't done a sleeve in a while. So I was like, oh, okay. This is a nice introduction back into fall and winter sewing because I'm doing sleeves again. So I'm excited about that. I actually enjoy doing sleeves. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? Piece 15, which is my pants front. Pants front. Let's see, piece 17, which is going to be my pockets. Love some pockets. So we got four pocket pieces. P16 is my pants back. And then last but not least is my sash, which I added because I had enough fabric and that is piece number, ooh, hold on. <laughs> piece number 18. So this is gonna be that sash that I showed you guys. So I am so excited about making this. I believe it's gonna be really, really cute. And hopefully I can get a wear or two in before whatever weather is coming. I don't even know anymore. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Um, you guys, so I found this thread that I already had here. Um, it is denim thread. And I feel like it's going to match really nicely with the denim fabric. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. There we go. I mean, you can almost not even see it. That's just how well it blends. So I probably won't have enough. You see it's already, you know, coming down on this part. So I'll probably have to buy some more, but at least I know what to get. This is a Coates and Clark denim thread and it's a 68% polyester, 32% cotton mix. Um, so yeah, I'll probably pick up another spool of that before I'm all done. Notions, I need a 20 inch invisible zipper. So when I pick up my thread, I'll also get the zipper unless I have one in my stash. You know, sometimes when Joanne has those sales, it's like buy three, get two free or whatever. I just pick up extra zippers. And for some reason, I never have the right size when I'm actually trying to sew something up and need a zipper. But hopefully I have a 20 inch invisible zipper somewhere in there. If not, I'll get one when I get the rest of my thread. Um, as far as notions, that's actually the end of it. Um, yes, I'm so, so, so excited about making this. Uh, again, this is it here at the top, view A with bodice B and sash, uh, I'm sorry, bodice C and sash B. So I guess technically I'm sewing a little bit of all three of these together. So can't wait to see how that turns out. Um, I feel like I could wear this with like a cute wedge um, or like a, a flat sandal. I don't know. Maybe probably I have a, a wedge that's like this coral color. I think that could be cute. So we'll see. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. So this pattern has 18 pieces total. Now you guys know I just finished sewing up that Butterick pattern, which for me was a complete 
an utter nightmare. <laughs> um, I'm glad it's over. And that had a lot of pieces. I think it had like 12 or 13, but something was just different about that. Even cutting those pieces out, I sat down to cut this one out uh, just yesterday and it was quick. It was quick, it was easy. I didn't feel oppressed. <laughs> <laughs> and I literally cut out the pattern in maybe like 30 minutes, maybe, I think somewhere around there. And I was okay, even though it was uh, 18 pieces or 16 or however many I actually used, I actually was okay. And then even when it came to pinning them to my fabric and cutting that out, the whole process was just way easier, way quicker and way smoother than the previous pattern that I sewed. So I was happy about that, which makes me even more excited about sewing up this uh, romper. So yeah, guys, I think that is all that I wanted to share with you today. I cannot wait to show you guys how this pattern turns out. Um, I will maybe do a review on it next week. Um, possibly. <laughs> and if I do, I'll include some pictures of it in that uh, video. And um, yeah. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I enjoyed making it for you. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that so we can continue to hang out together. Hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you get a message every time I post a new video. All right, guys. Well, until next time, I will see you later.